So the next demonstration is how to hand mould the final shape for a London bloomer or a bloomer. So we take our dough piece just like we would if we were making a tin loaf and we have the nice clean surface that we've initially moulded that goes down onto the table. We then push out the dough piece so we get an oval shape and then what we would do if we were making a tin loaf is fold the ends in so we get a nice column shape but we don't want that for a bloomer so what we're going to do is leave it in this extended oval shape and we're going to start to bring the edge over the top and then we're using our thumbs to bring up and over leaving the top of the loaf fatter so the middle nice and gently we don't want to overstress the dough and then as you can see we have more of a tapered shape on each end we then further extend this we don't want rounded ends on a bloomer, a traditional bloomer. We want pointed ends and those will ferment and grow fatter. So if we don't start with pointed ends, we won't end up with a proper bloomer shape. As per the tin loaf, there is a seam down the bottom. We want to make sure that this seam goes directly onto the bottom of our tray. So I've labelled my tray here with my initials, what the product is and what mix I've done. That goes onto the bottom of the silicon sheet so it doesn't go onto the product. And I shouldn't be able to see any sort of spiral markings on anywhere on my mould. So I'm going to do that again and this time I'm going to show you um, how to finish it as a uh, seeded bloomer. So once again we've got our initial moulded shape. So continuing the process, the dough piece get padded out, then we roll from the top towards ourselves using our thumbs to tuck the dough and tighten the outside. We then roll out to a pointed ends, nice even shape with the seam down the bottom. Now what we would then do to seed this loaf is you can either spray the outside or damp cloth on a tray, fully coat the dough piece so that every single bit of the outside of it is damp then into our seeds making sure we know where that seam is very important that that seam once again goes onto the bottom of the tray nice clean coating all over the product and that's it ready for proving